In the design of reinforced concrete structures, early designs did not incorporate the torsion moment. After intensive studies, however, when the torsional moment and its effects were better understood, it became common and compulsory practice to include torsion in the design. We shall first look at definitions of the keywords in the topic. Taking first the term with stained slab. In this type of slab, the corners of the panel are prevented from lifting, and adequate reinforcement is provided to counteract torsion. Torsion, on the other hand, is described as a twisting force that creates a moment tending to twist a member about its axis. The most important factor remains the correct determination of the amount of torsion reinforcement that should be provided. Hence, we shall consider the following sketch, a two-way spinning slab, restrained, of course, as described previously. At corner A, the slab is discontinuous on both sides. The torsion reinforcement shall consist of top and bottom bars, each with layers of bar placed parallel to the sides of the slab and extending a minimum distance of one fifth of the shorter span from the edges. The amount of reinforcement in each of the four layers shall be 75% of the area required for the maximum mid-span moment in the slab. At corner B, contained by edges over one of which is continuous, the torsional reinforcement shall be half of the amount of A above. At corner C, contained by the edges over both of which the slab is continuous, torsion reinforcement bars need not be provided. The following clip is an extract from the lecture video of Professor N. Dang of the Indian Institute of Technology. A cross section I am drawing. Uh, it could be other way also. Beam. So this is your beam that this beam is supporting this cantilever slab. So obviously you will find out that if you take one beam say like this, maybe simply supported also possible. In that case what will happen? Then you will find out not only the bending moment or forces acting here, you will have that torsion due to this moment. So that means here you have to design it for torsion also and this beam you have to design for bending moment for shear forces as well as for torsion developed due to this slab. Similarly it is possible if we draw it in plan this is a cross section. If we now draw say a beam plan we are drawing the plan here. So if we draw this is plan, please note, it is not the elevation. So what will happen due to this beam torsion will be developed at this point because this beam will develop that apply certain kind of torsion like this and for that also it will design. But that torsion only applicable at this point or maybe you can say over the width of this beam. Whereas in this case this torsion is applicable over the like this over the whole beam from one end to other end. So this is the, so you can find out that there are so many other cases where it is uh, possible that where torsion will be developed.